friends from Goodfellas TV from Alexis Two Sexy Sellers Art. All right, man, I heard Two Tone uh, Superstar. Go check him out on uh, you know, YouTube now, too. But I seen this video on Twitter where he said that uh, the rumor out of Saudi Arabia is that Canelo turned down the Crawford fight in $100 million. Um, Eddie Hearn has been consistent. He said last time he talked to Canelo, he was like not interested in that fight. Got all this pollen flying around. Then he, he did an update interview, too, like last week. I, I imagine he said the same same thing. And uh, we got to respect Mattermoff, too. I, I don't have seen him fight, but I heard some good things about him. So I might do a, a film breakdown on, on uh, Patreon. I did one for Fury, post-fight Fury and Usyk, but they wouldn't let me post it. So I'm going to try to figure out how to post it or whatever. But, uh, um, you know, Canelo, Canelo don't want to pass the torch. All right. Uh, he don't want to pass the torch. Um... You know, he said he still want to uh, he still want to compete in box, but the problem is he don't want to fight nobody. And people are like, well, you said you, you know, it was a cherry pick. It's a cherry pick. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that shit to be honest, but I understand, you know, Crawford's. I understand Crawford's pursuit for sure. But the thing about it is, you don't want to fight Ben Davidez. You don't want to fight uh. Uh, you didn't want to fight Munguia. They forced you to fight Munguia. And nobody really wanted to see that shit to begin with. No offense to Munguia. He did better than most people thought. But but who do you want to fight? Nobody want to see William Skull. Or nobody want to continue to see you fight uh, subpar competition. Like Crawford would be a name. Now, Crawford would have everything in the game. But... And Canelo wouldn't really gain much, but a hundred million dollars—that's a lot of money. That's more than triple your last fight. You know, almost more than triple. So I can continue to say, okay, you didn't have nothing to gain versus Rocky Field and Ivory and Uderman. You didn't have nothing to gain versus the majority of fighters that you're fighting. Danny Jacobs didn't make you undisputed, so. He's just scared that he can he gonna lose. You had nothing to gain when Amir Khan jumped up. Jose Lopez jumped up. You had nothing to gain when Jamil Charlo jumped up. And the reason he fought Jamil Charlo, because he took a year off. Coming off a, over a year off coming off a hand injury. Canelo is just boiled down to he a bitch. Ain't no other way to put it. Ain't no other way to put it. And you still got people that yeah, you got people that's That's still defending them. That's crazy. Oh, you rather him like William Skull and Ed Edna Berlanga. Come on now. People literally still defending him. How he moving. And he moving like a bitch. He don't want to fight nobody, but still say he got a lot left in the tank. Burst Crawford, he's going to have to work. Birth Benavidez, he really gonna have to work. That's what he worried about. He gotta work. Burst Charlo, he didn't want to work for the stoppage. He didn't want to work for the stoppage. It wasn't about Charlo throwing something back that was gonna hurt him. Canelo don't want to do the work no more. He don't want to do the work. You know, and he, he's always been a lazy fighter. I don't want to say lazy. But he's never really been a high-powered, high-output fighter. So you turn around, you put, you know, age on him, wear and tear, mileage. You know, he he don't want he don't want to fight. You know, twelve rounds, three minutes, three minutes, twelve twelve rounds, thirty six minutes. That's not what he want to do. So, I feel him. But you know, who do you want to fight? Don't want to be evil, Matt rematch. Don't want to fight. Better be a evil winner. Don't want to fight Terrence. You don't want to fight the Mexican monster. Um, who do you want to fight? You talking about fighting Berlanga, Munguia, William Skull. Nobody want to see that shit. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all doing a good job. Stop. They can keep faking the line about the pay per view, but I stop buying that shit. We got to get to the point where we stop watching it, we stop talking about it. Hit them where it hurt the most in the pockets.
But he, I think him turning on that hundred million dollars, if that's true, that he mean he think that Canelo Alvarez, he think Terrence Crawford could beat him. In my opinion, that should be easy pickings for him. You got a guy that be climbing up two weight classes. In my opinion, you should be able to get him the fuck up out of her. Even if he doing you like Khan was doing you early in that fight. Body work. He should be able to break Terrence Crawford down. No bullshit. You do it. I don't know. I don't know why he won't take a hundred million dollars. It's easy. Well, I ain't gonna say it's easy, but you bigger than that guy. You're gonna come in the cruise away. But I, I really think he he not sure he can beat him. If he loses to him, I don't agree with two tone when he said Crawford be the greatest fighter of ever. But he have a strong debate to be in the top five. Cause we visually seeing it, not going back where I was a kid or I was in my mama belly. We visually seeing this shit. Him win undisputed in three weight classes. You know, a lot of people didn't see Harry, Harry Armstrong, Marvin Hagler, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson. He in that class. Peak Roy Jones. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran. He in that. He in that caliber. He in that, he in that, you know, Mexico ain't gonna let another, another nigga get there. You know what I'm saying? Crawford in that top five, 10 range, minimum. And you know what? I ain't gonna argue. When people saying he could be a heavyweight, you know, he could be the greatest of all time. Sugar Ray Leonard, had he won that, Sugar Ray Robinson, had he won that, uh, that 175 pound title fight, we got heat exhaustion. You probably still niche him over at Crawford in, in that scenario. Probably give him a little niche over Crawford still. But he win it. So, bare minimum, he in the pantheon, especially if he stop him. He stop him. He in the pantheon of greats with, with Hank, at least minimum, he up there with Henry Armstrong, Sugar Ray Leonard, and what they done, Sugar Ray Robinson, even Leonard. I think Leonard went up and won a little bullshit belt at Cruiserweight. But Sugar Ray Robinson, Henry Armstrong is right. What they did, being the greatest pound for pound fighters of all time, Alexander Usyk, Evander Holyfield. I mean, I think Evander Holyfield was the undisputed heavyweight champion. I believe he was. So, you know, about people climbing up weight classes, that's an elite. Um, that's an elite, elite group of guys that really did it in an elite manner. You know. Michael Spinks was heavyweight champion. He was one of the greatest light heavyweights of all time. Michael Moore was heavyweight champion, one of the greatest light heavyweights of all time. So when you start talking about guys moving up and conquering, it'd be nice to see James Tony if he got past Sam Peters, be able to get a Klitschko shot. Because we heard rumors of what he did to, I think, Vladimir Sparn. You know, James Tony just wasn't as dedicated. But had he had been dedicated, Tony would be in that, that category. But you talking about Roy. Henry Armstrong, Sugar Ray Robinson. You be talking about Terrence Crawford, Michael Spinks, Michael Moore, you no, know, Evander Holywell, Alexander Usyk. Can not lie about opening floodgates for no brother at all? He like Floyd didn't even do that, but he's scared he gonna lose, bro. You know, when there's so much many hurdles that Crawford got to overcome. Weight. Weight is one of them. Judges. You know, how to properly move up. Taking the punch. You know you got to have to go west. But I think what Crawford people seeing with Crawford and Earl Spence was him so focused. You heard Steven Nelson and them. The people on the team, Coach Red and all them, Bernie said, they had never seen nobody like that focused. And I, I best believe that uh, for this fight with Canelo, he would be as focused as he'd be focused, more focused than the Errol Smith fight because let's, let's call it what it is. Your life on the line in that ring. Your life on the line. And then, every, I mean, you could be considered the greatest fighter of all time. That's a lot on the line. And for Canelo, I beat him 
I get a hundred M's, like shit, that's a hundred. That's a lot of money. A lot of people rather had a hundred M's. I beat them, you know. Cool. But that's most of his fights. You know what I'm saying? Evil Beevil, he had nothing to gain versus Beevil. He had already been champion at 175. He lost and really didn't lose much. People act like it didn't happen. So he getting with all that money. But if he lose, he'll be on the wrong side of history. But that's boxing. Anytime you step out of the real in the, in the ring, it's a chance that you might not get out that motherfucker. So if you don't like taking chances anymore in boxing, because you gotta take chances to be a boxer. If you don't want to take chances no more, you need you need to retire. That's just what it is. The brother needs to retire, but so I'm eating. I'm hungry, but like I said before, that's on him. That's on him, man. But in my opinion, I say this: it's sad that the uh, Alish uh, uh, Turkey Alashik, his excellency, is trying to help a brother out. And the other black people in the business not trying to help Bud out. I be telling y'all, man, y'all be sitting here preaching this black togetherness and all that shit dead. If you count on that brother or that sister next to me, watch your rabbit ass mind. I used to really believe in we need to unify, stick together, man. I'm telling dudes, man, go go find whatever people that make you happy. But thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Check out the Patreon, all that's in link tree. Check out the Boxing Room playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Peace.